Now, one thing you would likely hear in response to some of what you're saying, not to say that they wouldn't disagree or, or, or they would probably agree with a lot of what you're saying, but that so many kids coming into the classes today have so many different, either different issues or learning problems. And there really isn't the money to be able to give these kids what they need. How do you solve that? Well, I, I have not done um, an in-depth analysis uh, of the financial situation uh, with the public school system. But I'll give you some, just some figures. There are more non-teachers than teachers on the public school payroll. That's true at the state level. It's actually true at the national level. It's also true at the state level. And it's certainly true with, with our largest school district, the Seattle Public School District. So I've asked myself, how can it possibly be that there are more non-teachers than teachers on the payroll? It doesn't make any common sense to me. Uh, because if, if teaching actually occurs in the classroom, well, what are the bulk of the people doing? I believe that there's plenty of money already in the system. It's just that it's being allocated improperly. Too much management? Too, too much, much management, too much bureaucracy. You have... Uh said that one thing that needs to be done in this state, and maybe states across the country, is that each governor should appoint their own secretary of education, kind of their education czar, to be able to look at the education problems in the state. What would that person be doing? Well, that person would essentially carry out the mandate um, uh, that, and the direction, if you will, that the governor uh, is providing. Now, some states actually have a system where, you know, the governor appoints the secretary of education. Washington State doesn't. Um, the, basically, the OSPI, the, uh, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction, is an elected position. And so, really, what leverage does Governor Gregoire have on, uh, you know, on Randy Dorn? Well, actually, at the end of the day, not, not much. Um, now, if, if, the, uh, if the secretary of education actually was an appointed position, well, then Governor Gregoire could basically establish a platform, an education platform, and insist that that secretary, you know, basically live up to it and, and implement some of, the, uh, some of the reform ideas. When you talk about administration, though, isn't that adding a layer? Um, a, a layer to the cabinet? Um, I actually think having, instead of a dotted line relationship with the secretary of education uh, or the office of the superintendent, um, I believe a a direct, uh, a solid line relationship would operate much better. 